Hello, Collective. I'm going to do a love reading today for you, Collective. I hope that you all will enjoy this love reading. Ooh, it said past life's intense connection. Boy, ain't that true. <laughs> Let's see what it says. What is a love message for the collective enlightenment? With enlightenment, there is no separation. We recognize that we are one with the divine. You got enlightened. You're one with the divine. You receive messages like crazy. You Somehow or another, you always get signs. That's what it means, okay, collective? Let me scoop that back a little bit. All right, so you're gaining enlightenment. Ooh, you're getting signs. Watch out for signs leading you to true love. You got enlightened. Someone loves you. You've been getting signs. Oh, they want commitment, collective. Collective, commitment is an important factor to achieve a successful relationship. So you got enlightened that you've seen a lot of signs that this person wants to be committed to you. It's your true love, and it comes when you least expect it. True love comes. One, two, five, when you least expect it. Ooh, they're committed to this love with you, baby. Oh, gosh. Oh, they respect you. Respect your relationships. See, you respect your, your relationship. Obstacles. Look for ways around the obstacles to find happiness. So you're getting signs from the universe to go around all these obstacles. You and your true love. They respect you. They respect you and they, they're committed to you. Confusion. All seekers of truth experience confusion. Ask the divine to provide the answers you need. See, the, you and them was stuck in confusion and and it, you, you was like trapped up in illusion. And well, it was because all these obstacles that somebody placed in front of you collective. That's why. And then it says Cupid love is in there. When Cupid's around, Cupid come and struck them in the eyes. This is true love. It's you all have to come together. That's what it's saying. You have to uh, notice everything remarkable about this relationship. It, it's it's remarkable. It's 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 remarkable. They don't want to be trapped up anymore in this dang gone confusion. What they noticed was remarkable is how much that they can hear you. When you're not around, they hear everything. Close soul connections are harmoniously synchronized, creating moments of telepathy. See? So Cupid said, hey, have you noticed? And you need to respect all these obstacles of confusion because Cupid was giving you telepathic love from the divine. You got... You are one with divine. You recognize these signs. You know that... Commitment is the most important factor in achieving a successful relationship. It is, and, and this true love is coming. They've noticed all this remarkableness in this connection. All the damn confusion, all the obstacles, all the people playing around with respect and shit, and they didn't respect you. You, the, Nobody respected you all enough to even want you to be together. That's the thing. That's the thing. But they want to speak to you. Yes, 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 they do. Empress, Empress, they want to speak to you. But you're very nurturing and loving and caring. And, and they want to be with you. They, they, they want to feel you. They, you, Empress, you see the potential in others. You create beauty. You're creating all this in hermit mode. Now is the time to go to, to go to my center, develop rapport both in my internal mentor, from my internal mentor, see? See, you learn to go inside and seek that guidance from yourself. You're discovering this higher wisdom and all the truths. Look, lovers, lovers, oh, this is amazing, lovers. So this is uh, about you all becoming in union. You're soulmates. You feel whole. You're all falling in love. Ooh. 
Love on all levels, from platonic to erotic. Falling in love. Falling in love, this true love. You're at the top of the wheel. You're at the top of the wheel, Collective. I love this. I didn't even have to flip these. It was all good right there. It was all good right there. You're going to receive... Good luck, fortune. This is movement through these uh, cycles. You... You're going to have a breakthrough. This is a new opportunity. Synchronicities, synchronicities. They've been noticing all these synchronicities with numbers or whatever it was. And you're all rising above the material surface. I take up the sword and find my true purpose. This is your all's true purpose. It is. And you're all going to have to leap, leap into it with courage and have the strength to do this. Have the strength to come, come with together with your emperor, empress. See, but one of you needs to move fast from this man. That's your false flame. One of you needs to move away from that because this is a bully. This is a spiritual bully. This is someone who's very controlling. This is a negative father figure in your life. And you're staying together because of children. See the little kids on the horse? Yeah. This negative emperor, you don't feel success and happiness. They don't want you to be free. They want you to be stuck inside. Uh, focusing on them. You build this this negative person, whoever this is that you're... Some, some of you all might want to cut ties from. Not all of you. I'm just saying for some of you, whoever that negative person is, you need to cut ties from them because they want to keep you in darkness. Uh, but uh, they didn't understand that your magical truth is your magical weapon. <laughs> That's mine and yours, Collective. Look, Hierophant. Huh? You're a spiritual mentor. You're wise. Oh, yeah, you are. Uh, this is about uh, your, uh, education and your knowledge and uh, your faith. Teachers, education, doctrine. This could be government offices. You're alchemizing, becoming this spiritual leader, I think. You're transforming nicely. You're transforming nicely because you're balanced, star. Looky there, look. I love this, look. You got to move away from this man that's in the negative because you're all hooked together because you're children. He wants to keep you is silence. He he doesn't want you to go after. Uh, he's wanting you um, to hide from. He's wanting you to hide from your true from your true emperor. He's placed magic upon you, but he didn't understand that you're from the divine. You don't have to do magical tricks. I don't. Uh, you know, I my my knowing my truth is my magical weapon. <laughs> That's mine. Okay, collective. I know I'm supposed to do this, and you all do too, and I love you, Collective. And we've transformed. we transformed to become this balanced person that helps others, okay? Uh, we've learned to stop doing things in excess. We've learned that. Finding the middle way within and without, able to bridge these two worlds, earthly and spiritual. See, I've learned how to do that, and... And you have two collectors, some of y'all. And looky there. The starlight shining down on me brings healing from above. I'm at peace with my life and filled with hope and love. That's me. I'm a Aquarius star. Look, you're courageous enough to show your feathers to everybody. Yeah. You're, you're, this is a peace. Having peace again within yourself and in your sanctuary. Um, this is grace and inspiration and stardom dare to wish upon a star this is the, uh, the calm after the storm renewal of the life force within release of the imagination or release of the imagination of the things up in the brain that you kept thinking of continuously this is honoring your dreams so so you're you're honoring your dreams and and um that's what you need to keep focused on, okay, Collective? Okay, Collective? Um, let's see what these say. Spirit, spirit. 
I ain't did these in a while, and I'm using my intuition on some of these because I don't have the book in here. So just, just, just remember that part, okay? Collective. What is it for Empress up here? Empress, Empress, you need to know that Mother of Earth came out. So <coughs> this is like. Queen of Swords, you know. I mean, Queen of uh, Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And then we have Maiden of Fire. So this is some younger in their 20s girl, it looks like. So, so maybe you're a mother to this young, to this young Empress. Maybe that's what it's saying. Um, or it's just saying that you're becoming wealthy in the spiritual and the physical. You, you, you're you a working parent. You're a working parent. And you, this is about what you built, Empress. See, look, this is Empress, you know. She is the mother of Earth, Empress. See the similarities? See, see the wheat at Empress's hand? Oh, look at the wheat. Okay, now you get it. Okay, that's... That's you, Empress. Empress, there you are. And there's something, uh, this is about your creativity that's deep within yourself. And look, uh, it's like shining a light at your throat. So I think this is something inside of you that you're wanting to say. This is about um, finding, finding your creations again. Creative side, I think. Something might be coming to light. Hang on a minute. And what else for Hermit? Hermit said seven of water. So seven of cups. And then we have four of pentacles. Four of earth. So uh, stability. And this is about, you know, seven of cups is about illusions. Illusionary success. And if you look right here, this is uh, getting judged by my ought. And there's a feather in it, and, and, and you're weighing to see if your heart is as light as a feather. So you can be welcome into this spiritual community. But it looks like she's gained her wings, look. And you've you've realized your uh, ancient Egyptian lineage or something. I love these cards. Do you love them collective? And I love y'all, and I wanted to show them to you. So, yeah, that's... So, so during hermit mode... Maybe someone around, maybe this mother around has noticed that um, you've got a lot of options. Or this young girl, somebody's got a lot of options around. And uh, this is about getting right within your soul. That's how I'm reading that card, okay? All right, and, and this is about you finding your stability. 13, 13, this is about you finding your stability within yourself. You're committed to it. And you're getting signs from the universe to keep doing that. Being committed to yourself. Oh, and then we got, what is this? Uh, the goddess. Oh, the goddess pulled out. Empress, you're all over the board, baby. Have y'all ever seen a better love reading? And it had empress and emperor. And y'all better like me over here at Pound Star Oracle. Because I'm telling you a good story. Looky there, Empress. And that is two. And then is that... That's like a, your head inside of the ch inside of your throne. You're sitting on your throne proudly, and you are chasing the white rabbit down that rabbit hole. This is what your creation is, and this is the lovers, and and uh, you're all getting ready to rejoice and come to each other. Goddess, goddess, your true love is watching you every day. All the time. Don't you worry, goddess. Because that's what they're doing. What else do we need to know about lovers' true love? You know, goddess has true love. Don't you worry, goddess. Oh, maiden of air. You're getting ready to receive a fast communication. Look. It's like the the uh, their guides is guiding them. It's like they're pulling them. Trying to pull you to your soulmate. That's what it is. I love you, Collective. That's true love, baby. 
They see you sitting on your throne. You're remarkable to this person. You're remarkable. Oh, wow. Mother of water. What is the next one? I love these cards. Oh, they're my favorite now. I love them. Oh, and then we got the path. So, uh, it, this is your time to show your remarkable skills at the moment and to, 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 to show your true love who you are. That's what you're supposed to be doing. And then mother of water. So this is a uh, queen of queen of cups. This is using your intuition. Someone who can uh, feel through her emotions. You understand what I'm saying? And you know, uh, it looks like here someone may need to release their emotions see how the rain is flowing down to this uh queen right here queen of cups the love is flowing down they love you empress they want to come throw their love down on you this is your and their path that you're all meant to walk this is the path that you are you're an intuitive you're very loving and kind and this is about you just following that spiritual path. Just keep going. Just keep going because this is your time at the... You're getting ready to, to receive wealth on your path. Okay, Mother? Don't you doubt it. Don't you doubt it. And Judgment said, what? I love that spirit, guys. I love it. And one more for Judgment, please. Okay. Hang on, Collective. I'm going to go ahead. And what about for Fool? What about for full? What about for full? All right, hang on, collective. Hang on, collective. Hang on, my collective. What about strength? What about strength? Strength. One for strength and two for strength. One for strength. Spirit, guys, one. Kill for. Emperor, oh, Emperor, I love you, sweet guys. It's so funny. What else did Emperor want to do? Oh, God, he wants to give you that big one, too, I believe. Oh, God, yeah, I know what it is. I know. Ooh, here it comes. Here it comes, you guys. It's coming with full force. 1727, I saw. Look that number up. Okay, judgment. This is your purpose, remember? And then here we have... Uh, like maiden of water so this is like page of page of cups and this is about you know that innocent joyful uh playing energy inside of you uh this is you know like young and ignorant love is that what you would call it? innocent love <laughs> this is feeling that and then here we have yule and i think 13 this is about death i believe if i am correct that 13 is death in the tarot deck i i think so so this is about an ending so feel joy with this ending that's getting ready to take place in the winter time see you're feeling like sunny and joy but look it's it's cold and around you at the moment it's cold and and um see it looks like in the middle, they got a lot of sticks, and that reminds me of burdens. And this is like the devil that keeps placing these burdens upon your joyous soul. The devil that you're connected to. Whatever that is. But you're finding your true purpose, and um, they're receiving karma. These Somebody that didn't respect you and your twin flame relationship, they're receiving karma at the moment. That's what it's saying, okay, Collective? Uh, you got to cut... Cut ties with addictions and whatever it is, collective. And there's that rabbit standing behind them, too. So, I think somebody said the year of the rabbit is this year coming. So, keep that in mind. Uh, you're taking a leap of faith into this new. You feel freedom at the moment. And we have eight of earth. So, this is about uh, you've been building your wealth. You've been building a stable foundation. You've been working on it diligently. That's what it's saying. Yep, you've been working on it a lot, and people's been trying to place obstacles in your path in this new uh, endeavor that you're doing, in this new work. They're trying to keep that confusion energy on you, but they can't collect it. Don't worry, but we got seven of earth here, seven of cups. Oh, seven of cups. 
No, what that say? Seven of Earth. Seven of Earth. So seven of Pentacles. That's about, you know, um, being pessimistic. Like it's not coming fast enough. Look, and down there's a shark coming under. Maybe you've been trapped in fear a little bit. See that shark? Maybe you've been uh, fearing, fearing this new change. Maybe you've been fearing death. Somebody has. I mean, since I've seen that right there, uh, I think you're just fearing to chase, to face your challenges. Is what it is. Oh, I love it, Spirit. I didn't know it said that. Who? Hang on a minute. And then it says, um, you know, you got to have strength because um, your confusion is getting ready to end. And then here we have water, and this is nine of water, and this is a... This looks like Kali Ma's husband or somebody. It's got four arms. This is about nine of cups. Oh, this is wish fulfillment. Oh, look, look at wish fulfillment on this collective. Look, um, this is about your memories. This is what is going to make you happy and you feel fulfilled. This is about coming together with your twin. See the two elephants up there in the two water? You know, and Aquarius pours the water. I, I think that's cool right there. You're, you're this new being. You're, you, you made something from the mud. That's why you're sitting on the lotus flower and you're like crone of water. This means like... like the oldest in the family like this is uh you've done learnt all your lessons in life you know what i'm saying like crone this is like grandmother like you've had a lot of strength grandmother to bring out these creations if you are a grandmother there's some grandmother around that's done this and this uh you know it's it you've got your cup in your hand but it looks like you're guarding your cup really well it looks like you've been guarding something really well grandmother grandmother intuitive you're, you're very intuitive and you go near water to help bring your wishes <laughs> and emperor emperor loves you and he talks to you telecon through telekinesis remember uh cupid's hit him in the ice with his arrow and this is about him taking leadership and you taking leadership and standing up for who and what you want, baby. By gosh, because freaking Ace of Cups is why. Because he wants to give you all his love. He wants to take his wand and dip inside of your cup. Because he knows good and well that you are his. And he can't wait to just get you and love you so much, mother. Mother, he fucking loves you. His, he's on fire. One touch from you one touch from you and he would just oh god he wouldn't know what to do it just go psh, it would go everywhere collective oh we got six of earth here six of pentacles he's wanting to bring balance he's wanting to bring balance and you know that looks like a truth he's he's bringing his truth to you of love he truly loves you do not doubt your love from the divine from the emperor that the divine placed in your life to love you he's balanced and he's ready to receive this love he's offering it and you better not reject it that's what it's saying now he's getting ready to offer it to you he's going to to you oh god and you might be a, a mother of air maybe you're a queen of swords look at our queen of swords oh queen of swords you use your power is in the way you communicate Oh, I love that. This is me. I'm an Aquarius over here. Look at all my knowledge. I have so much knowledge. It's swirling around inside. I'm that air sign. I'm that logical, loyal. Tell me the truth. And that's what it is. <laughs> and look, you use. Uh, you need to get beside the water and use the element of water, it's saying. Okay, uh, Jim and I, Libra Aquarius, you need to get to the water because the spirit guides is going to tell you a message. And, and you're going to feel so amazing. And then we got four of water, four cups. You know, and that's about being uh, bored. 
get in the water and stop feeling bored and rejected because a uh, mother of fire, you, you're a leader. Stand up for who and what you want. Then we got Lithia right here. And I believe that it come to light. It come to light. You need to show leadership. You want to be a success. You want to be a success. Look. Oh, the emperor's got the white rabbit in his hand now. Ooh. Oh, God. And then Molly has that. Mommy has her belly pregnant by Emperor. <laughs> oh, that's what it said. And you're all going to have generational wealth. Ten of Earth. Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, wow. You're 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 gonna be known all over the world. You're you you you're building your generational wealth. You're getting ready to receive an opportunity. The opportunity is coming to you, Star. Look, Ostaria. Ostaria. It's coming to you, Star. An opportunity, Star. Oh, it's coming to you. Because you're a hope for all, Aqua. You, 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 you help. You pour out your love to all. You, 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 you know how to keep the faith. This is just keep chugging along. And in here it says, Nine of Wands. They, there's someone wounded in the background, look, wounded, or you had to defend and stand up for, you had to stand up for yourself, okay? Because someone was trying to sneak off or steal your pentacles. This is seven of hours, you know, that's the thievery st stealing, or, well, it also can mean plans, maybe, Maybe you had plans to embolic. I wonder what that is. Maybe you had plans to uh, I believe that's temperance. Somebody was stealing it from you, a balanced person, and they was doing this in your community, Three of Waters. This could have been a third-party situation, but this is about bringing abundance to your life. Uh, but someone, ten, ten of air, so ten of swords, someone has been, uh, this was about this betrayal. Uh, you was backstabbed and betrayed. And uh, your little fairies has been trying to help you. Five of cups. Yes, like they wanted to, like somebody was making you feel left out or something. It looks like you had to defend something. Look at her. Look at that damn defendy. You had to, de maybe this is about defeat. You had to defeat your enemies. Or you was feeling defeated in, in yourself. Like you was damned if you do and damned if you don't. But this lightning power, if lightning struck your house like it did mine, it give you fucking power to defeat, to defeat all your fucking enemies. And that's why Six of Cups come out. This is about past life, healing from past life issues. Healing this old things. This is about memory, somebody from your past. They think they're God, the God. They think they're the God, but this is Emperor, okay? This is Emperor, and Emperor said, no, you can't have my woman. That's my fucking woman. You're going to take all these burdens away from her and stop making her living up in her head because she's got her shockers in line, and, and she's using the elements of our what to, to bring to her what she knows is meant to her and all these secrets is coming out secrets under the moves all these secrets has come out about this old grandmother right here and all your knowledge all your knowledge but you went you're going through a total transformation i love them stars use your cards use your wisdom about this choice. Hello. Well, 
omens. Something was is omen to take place. It was omen for that lightning to hit my house to give me that knowledge. Look, it was omen for that lightning to strike at my house. I remember it did. And it was in that Virgo reading. I said, uh, the lights go out. But it says a few things before it says the lights go out in my reading. But, yeah, it was omen. Uh, this, this brought back a lot of knowledge to me that I wasn't even aware of from way, way long ago. Ooh, and that man looks creepy. Uh, this is about... You alchemizing, uh, you walk away from choppy waters to calm. Six of swords going through a transformation. You're going through a transformation. That's why you was feeling lost. And, and uh, you had to go through this. This is about the circle. Somebody is getting together doing witchcraft in a circle. Did you see that? Or or summoning up gods or demons or something. I don't know. Ooh, looky there. <coughs> Ace of Pentacles, but a giant opportunity is coming to me and you. And it might be your divine masculine is right in the middle of it coming to you, baby. He's using all the elements. He's using all the elements. He's been resting up for this to take place by Georgie. And he loves you so big. Ten of water. He loves you so big. Oh, God. He just don't know what to do, Collective. He just don't know what to do. He just don't know what to do. With you, his loving warrior. He's your loving warrior. What else does uh, Emperor want us to talk about? Let's see what they want to talk about. You're protected by spirit. Pay attention to the signs. I'm throwing that one out. You're protected. You're protected, Mother. What else? He wants to talk about he's tired of being withdrawn and lonesome and single. He wants to tell his emotions to you. His emotions is overflowing for you now. He wished that he hadn't have said no and rejected you. He would, this was the irrational fear going on inside of him. He he dismissed you because maybe uh, you was in a partnership, or he was, and that's why he had to do that. Okay, Spirit is saying, say no. Say no. Spirit says, you better say no to being stuck and tied down and feeling trapped. Stop feeling that way, Spirit said. Stop feeling that way now. And Divine Masculine and Emperor said that to you, Divine Family. And karmic partner, stop being stuck to this karmic, this conventional relationship. You're bound by a contract, a marriage. He'll live life to the fullest and get a hold of your lover. Get a hold of your lover. Because that's your twin flame. Spirit said, get a hold of your twin flame. By the way, they feel comfort with you. You're all coming into union. You're going to say no to that person. And you're all going to become married and committed. And I love you, God. And I believe you, spirit guys. And I thank you for showing me. And we don't stand trapped no more in bullshit. Pause. Pause. Inaction. Calmness. Step back. Wait for the sign. You've been waiting for a sign. You've been waiting for a sign. Well, there's your sign. Twin Flame fucking loves you. Only you. Only you. Stop being stuck with this karmic partner. This 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 karmic partner blocked you all. Uh, and that's why all this silence is take, taking place. You need to shift your focus to clear the energy from this karmic partner. Because only you. My eyes are fixated only on you. I'm hypnotized by your eyes and your beauty. And they're, they're just mesmerizing. But you've got to let go of this attachment to this karmic partner that you've known for a long time. And you've got to let that inner child come out and play with your twin flame. Because they're committed to you. They're committed to you and, and they want you to, to pause one second and come to them. And stop being alone and come to me. I love you. I love you. I love you, Divine Feminine. I love you, Divine Masculine.
Stop feeling lonely. The divine is with you, baby. Infatuation. Oh gosh, they're going to come. Some this this karmic. They're they're they they live compulsively and they're still having addictions. They're still in addictions because they didn't cut the karmic off. Mirror, reflection, shared feelings. You. But see, maybe your twin flame uh, adores you. Maybe your twin flame adores you, and you're all reflecting. They share feelings of love for you, for you and you only, baby. Memories. They they've been thinking of all the memories between you and them. They keep they keep they keep thinking over it, over and over and over. It's only you. It's only you. And this karmic partner that you're trapped up with, they keep they keep this on pause between you and your divine masculine or your divine feminine. Because they they know that all this calmness feeling is coming because you they know that this look look they know that yes I fucking love you yes there you go collective yes yes they're committed to you call them call them collective they fucking want you baby they said you're so damn beautiful I want to marry you yes beauty marriage yes beauty marriage. Stop pretending and being stuck with this karmic partner and living in this illusion and come your fucking ass to me. I forgive you. I forgive me. I want our hearts to live in tranquility so I can romance you. That's what they said. They want to romance you. Okay? They want they want to forgive you and romance you now. Hell far. How much more do you want to see? Because that's all it is. And I love y'all collective. And if you love me, then you need to let me know today, okay? Because I appreciate you all, and I thank you very, very much. And yes, I can do twin flame readings, and y'all know I can. So pay attention to what it said, what's it said. Embrace your emotions. Allow your feelings to surface and be accepted. Let your feelings out and cry. It's okay. Have patience. Love is patient and kind always. They have faith in you. They've been patiently waiting on you. You're, you're beautiful. You're beautiful to them. Okay. Look at how committed you are to love. Consider your foundation. Let your emotions out. Love is patient. Your foundation is sturdy be willing to express love express love to receive love you got to express it you got to express your love if you want to receive it and you're going to have to do it to my family probably yeah i probably bet you'll have to down do it a oh, people fell on the floor i didn't see that shock unexpected trouble yeah see it's going to have to be shock and, and you're going to have to get rid of this trouble and this current partner okay Ask for help. What do you really need? Be willing to accept the support. Ask the angels and they will help you anytime. 38, 38, 11, 11, twin flames. See, I love you, my twin flame. I love you. I love you, baby. And forgiveness, nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. Don't hang on to something old. Remember, collective, we're moving to something new. Remember, that's what you're doing, ain't it? I thought it is. I love you. I love you. These are powerful words. I love you. I love you. They want to play a harp for you. They they forgive you. Physical touch, a tender touch can mean so much. They just want to touch you. They just want to kiss your hand and show the, show you how beautiful you are. They freaking, I love you. It says, let your emotions out. Have patience with your love. Consider this foundation and be willing to express your love. Ask for help from the divine because forgiveness forgiveness has done took place because it's, they said, I love you. I love you and I need physical touch. This man needs physical touch. Well, divine feminine does too. Love who you are. 
You are divine, delightful, and deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer. We all are worthy of this. Each and every one of us. Don't doubt it. Don't doubt a true love from the divine. Never doubt a true love from the divine. You're all going to get to know each other. Learn to meet another's need and love. Honesty is essential. Speak with love and truth. You got to tire the mask off. Divine mask one might be getting ready to unmask that his, his honest and truth to you. He wants to get to know you. That's what's said. And that's all I'm going to do, Collective. And I love you very much. And I'm going to get off here. And I hope that helped you all. And if it did, you can let me know. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I appreciate you very, very much. And I'll see you back here in a little bit. Peace.